Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Do. I'm Rashadi Harley here with this week's fun fact. In history, there have been three U.S. presidents who have died on July 4th. John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe, all which were founding fathers. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson who died in the same year, 1826, meaning two U.S. presidents died on the same day. What a freaky coincidence. Now into the rest of this week's episode. Welcome back to this week's LexTube News. I'm Dylan. And I'm Sydney, and we are glad to be back with you today. To start this week's episode off, we want to congratulate Airport's Tiarka Green, Katie Rojas, Isabella Lanford, and Ali Childs for making it into the all-region orchestra alongside three BC students. Green also was seated first chair violinist for the entire region. Congratulations! Airport's marching band will be traveling to Chesney High School on Saturday for another band competition. Join me in wishing the Eagles the best of luck. Next Tuesday, October 19th, will mark the end of the first quarter of school. We are 25% complete with this school year. Time is going by fast, isn't it, Dylan? Yep, it sure is. Busby students, next Wednesday is Pink Out Day in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Come to school in your coolest pink attire. Airports Orchestra will be hosting their fall concert on Thursday, October 21st at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. We know they have been working hard, so come on out and support the Eagle Orchestra. Next Thursday will also be Makeup Picture Day for Northside Middle, so if you're mistaking your photo the first time around, now it's time to snap one. Also on Thursday, there will be a BC Foundation barbecue from 5.30 to 6.30 in the BC Auditorium, as well as a Lex2 board meeting from 6 to 7. All Lex2 students, next Friday is an in-service day, which means no school. This week, Fulmer Middle School inducted 79 new Beta Club members. This is a huge accomplishment and we are proud of you for your outstanding service to your school and your district. Big news for the art schools in our district. Salida River Academy for the Arts and Busby Creative Arts Academy have both received grants from the South Carolina Arts Commission for the 2021-2022 school year. Salida River received a 12,500 Arts and Basic Curriculum grant. They plan to use it for funding for the four artists and residents professional development for teachers, community events, curriculum materials, and to aid in student performances. Busby received a 12,000 2022 Distinguished Arts Program grant. They plan to use it to fund their Odyssey Art Project. A huge congratulations to both schools and we can't wait to see what you're able to do with these grants. Two Lexington Two educators were named changemakers at the Midlands. Jennifer Wise, Lex Two's coordinator of mathematics, and Emmy Lou Todd, Lex Two's coordinator of special services. We are proud that these ladies are representing our district. It's HOCO Week at BC. This coming week will be filled with activities and events to celebrate homecoming Friday night. Tomorrow from 10 to 2 in front of BC, the Student Council will be hosting the kickoff car wash to raise funds for breast cancer awareness. The Bearcats will play Swansea and crown their homecoming court at halftime on Friday night. Other activities include the annual HOCO Parade next Friday at 3 o'clock and the Homecoming Assembly next Thursday at 9.30. The homecoming theme this year is musical genres and theme days include Band Team Monday, Time Machine Tuesday, Western Wednesday, and Throwback Thursday. Friday's theme is Pink Out in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That is all for this week's news rundown. Now to Duncan and Jonathan with this week's COVID-19 update. Hello, and welcome back to this week's COVID-19 update. I'm Duncan Scarborough. And I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. As a reminder, the district-wide mask mandate is still in effect until October 31st. Now, to this week's numbers. As of Tuesday, October 12th, there are 26 positive cases and 124 quarantine students and staff throughout the district. That means the number of positive cases have gone down by 26 since last week. The school with the highest number of cases is Airport High School, with only 7 positive cases and 25 quarantine students. The schools with the lowest number of cases are Busby, Congre Elementary, Fulmer, Newbridge Academy, and Salute River, all with zero positive cases. Heck yeah! This week's COVID safety tip is an easy one. Wash your hands. Hand washing is one of the most important parts of staying safe. Unlike hand sanitizer, which only kills the germs, washing your hands with soap and water completely removes them. It also can remove more harmful chemicals and germs that regular hand sanitizer can't, so please don't forget to wash your hands. Well, that's all we have for this week. Please continue to be safe, and the COVID numbers will continue to go down. I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. And I'm Duncan Scarborough. This has been the LexTube COVID-19 Update. Thank you guys for the update. Let's continue to keep those numbers down. There are lots of ways for people to manage their mental health. Heidi Daniel explores how exercises help students with keeping their health in check. Hello, I'm Heidi Daniel with LexTube News. And I'm Rashardia Harley. Welcome to this week's A Talk About Mental Health. Today, we're going to take a look at how exercise helps with mental health. So, to start us off, what's your name and grade? I'm Steve Michelle, and I'm 11th grade. I'm a junior. Okay. Does exercise help with your mental health? If so, how? It does. It helps you with confidence, you know, motivation, all that good stuff. It makes you feel good. 
lose weight, gain weight, all types of goals you set and accomplish. How long and how often do you typically exercise? Uh, I'll say about, about four times a week, different exercises, and about an hour long session. Do you have any exercise related recommendations for other students? Start running and jogging and walking. Start doing jumping jacks, drills, stuff like that. Do that way more often. It's going to help you mentally. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. No problem. So, to start us off, what's your name and grade? Uh, my name is Sunny Valverde, and I'm a senior at Apple High School. Does exercise help with your mental health? If so, how? Yes, it does. When uh, like I'm stressed out or anything, exercising is the first thing I do because it takes my mind off everything else. How long and how often do you typically exercise? I try to exercise every day in the morning, early in the morning before school and at night after work. Do you have any exercise related recommendations for other students? Uh, I work just work on your abdomen, it helps with running. And then after that, you can work on biceps, back, everything. Just try to work. Uh, try just try to work a different muscle every day. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. This week's mental health tip is to try something new. You can experiment with a new recipe, join a club, or learn a new skill. I'm Heidi Daniel with Lex Tip News, and I'm Rashadi Harley. This has been a talk about mental health. How exercise helps. Thank you, Heidi, for the look into exercise and the correlation between it and mental health. Now on to Ready, Set, Score with LexTube. Welcome back to Ready, Set, Score. Last Friday, both Airport and BC took losses on the road for varsity football. The Eagles took on region opponent North Augusta with a final score of 51 to 10. The Bearcats took on number one ranked Strom Thurmond with a final score of 17 to seven. Tonight, BC brings it home with a matchup against region opponent Gilbert. The game begins at 7.30 and the theme is blackout. Come out and support the Bearcats. The Eagles are on the road once again with a matchup against Aiken. The game begins at 7.30. Come out and support the Eagles. A huge congratulations to BC senior Jaden Malpas for being selected as the Region 5 3A Swimmer of the Year. She was also the only swimmer from the BC Airport swim team to be selected to the state finals. Way to go, Jaden. Both BC Airport's varsity cheer teams will be traveling to compete at the Wildcat Classic this Saturday. Join us in wishing both teams the best of luck. Next Monday, the 18th, the Eagles and the Bearcats face off for the final time of the season in volleyball. The game is at BC and Bearcat Arena with JV at 530 and varsity following right after. Good luck to both teams. Thank you for watching this week's sports update. That means the number of positive cases have gone down by 20 cents since last week. 20 cents? 20 cents? 20 cents? 20 cents? 20 cents? Blue River, all with zero positive cases. Heck yeah! This week's COVID safety. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to say you heck just yeah? Go from this week. <laughs> okay. It can also be more common for a camp. I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. And I'm Duncan Scarborough. This has been the Lex G of COVID. <laughs> oh, it's right there. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this week's episode. We can't wait to see you back here next week.